Bomba in one of the little suburbs here. So we're gonna go see if we can't find it, and then if we do, that's probably why you'll be seeing this intro. So let's go. Which video one? Uh, landscape. Always landscape. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Go for it. Cool, so I'm here with Miguel. I'm just gonna call out this green mamba. Miguel just spotted it here on this. Before we get it sheeting, we're gonna gently pull it out. She looks quite heavy with eggs, so we're gonna be real gentle. There we go. Nice size green mamba. mess with it too much so we're just gonna put her in a bucket and we're gonna relocate her. Cool so now we've got the snake but we need to climb over the wall with the snake in our hands because our bucket is on the underside the underside so let's have a walk through and we're gonna see Cool, so we've got our bucket over here, so we're just going to pop it gently in the bucket, and that's going to be it. Legend. We need the lid. There's no one to be in the bucket. Easy. So, this is where we just got the green mamba. We just bagged, well, binned the green mamba, and so we came back to flip here. My girl just flipped a really nice looking brown house snake, which looks like it's had its lunch. Um, the interesting thing is that green mamba probably had an ideal laying site under all these sheets of tin. As you can see, it's a nice striped house snake. Well, got nice stripes on it. It's just an all brown house snake, but yeah, probably shouldn't mess with it too much. You might throw up whatever's in there. Then we're going to get stuck with that. But awesome, we're going to get out of here. Cool, so we're just going to release this house snake back under the sheets of tin. We're not going to tell the homeowner we found another snake under here, because this guy can stay here. So we sell out here from Miguel after that green mamba call out, and have a look at that. We got something a bit smaller. This is a lefto typhlops or one of the thread snakes. I'm not too sure what species. They all look pretty much the same. But nice to see something a little bit smaller. Anyway, so we just got to another call out and we have a thick set green snake under these roof tiles which is just going to be a spotted bush snake but we're going to see if we can't get it out and there it is second green snake of the day out here with Miguel doing call outs um, we're going to get this guy out of here because these people are freaking out so let's just grab him before he gets away so here's just that spot of bush snake that we just took out of this people's garage. What a crazy time trying to find these people's place, especially in these sort of rural areas. It can be really difficult. There's no street names or anything like that. But yeah, we're just taking this out the house and we're literally just going to just literally release it here. So welcome to another So welcome to another episode of Let's drive a couple hours, spend a whole lot of money on fuel, and try to see if we can find obscure frogs, and reptiles in this case, that I haven't seen before. The main goal of today is we are looking for the misspelled chirping frog, the striped caco, the striped dainty frog. I'm looking for this now monitor which I saw the other day. I didn't manage to get any footage. You can see here it's just basking on top of this anthill. Oh, I think he's seen me. He's starting to move a bit, but I'm gonna go back and get my camera with my telephoto lens. See if I can't get any pictures of him without spooking him. So you can see here where the now monitor has obviously been cruising around. You can see the drag marks its tail and yeah he scooted right down there so unfortunately we didn't get to get a closer look at him and i doubt that he's going to come out again today so we just around the corner from where we just saw those now monitors well the now monitor and i flipped this log in the background and there is a durban dwarf burrowing skink underneath it scalotes inornatus um 
these guys are listed as critically endangered and usually only occur or well, the main population is around the south of Durban uh, like we've seen in some of the previous videos but this one I'm about 60 kilometers south so nice bit of range not a range extension they are known from here but for my own personal records about a 60k extension from where I've seen them before so of course you know we're gonna snap some photos of this bad guy and then we're just gonna let him go again see here's a better look at that Scalodes that we just picked up this is Scalodes inonatus the Durban dwarf firing skink even though like I said we're about 60 kilometers south of Durban a little place called Scottborough so significant well this is pretty much the southern extreme of their range this one's in the blue usually they're a lot more vibrant in color but you can see it's got a bit of a sort of a, a bluey gray hue to it which they typically don't usually have but i'm really chuffed to get hands on this one because this is the first one that i've seen out of uh, the greater durban area so nice little one to whack on the maps There he goes. Have another species of frog for the day. This is the common river frog, Anetia philolandii, with this nice green stripe on him. Have a little closer look at him. Similar to the clicking stream frogs we've been getting, but yeah, just a member of a different genus. Two more frogs on the list. I just double flipped this clicking stream frog on the left and a little guttural toad on the right, just under a burnt log here. You can see we're just on the edge of a pine plantation so these little ecotones of natural vegetation are always really important to the animals because it's really the only places they have to live so we're going to keep it up and flip a few more logs and get on to our next spot so we're still out here we are actually looking for a really difficult frog to find called a misspell chirping frog but I was just going through some of the pine needles here and look what turned up. Sorry about that. This is the plaintive rain frog, Breviceps varicosus. This is actually the first time I've ever seen them in KwaZulu Natal. I've seen tons of them in the Eastern Cape, but just never here in KZN. Super chuffed. I don't know if you can hear, but in the forest in the background, you can hear frog calls like a light whistle and that belongs to these guys just have a look at these little grumpy guys i know we see a lot of rain frogs on the channel but this is a new one for the channel i've never featured them on here before okay another find of the day this is a variable skink we saw a couple of these in the last video very common here in this sort of misty grassland mist belts yeah, nice to see this little guy. We'll grab a few photos and just let him go. And so not only are we finding frogs today, I just found some lunch. Well, dinner when I get home. This is a edible kinds of mushroom, part of the, I can't remember the English name, but yeah, quite a nice edible mushroom. So we're gonna dig this guy out. So I'm just hearing the frogs that I'm trying to find. They're calling just in this little patch of vegetation here. So. We're going to try to see if we can locate them. Well, try to see if we can get closer to the calls. Might not be the interesting video to watch. We're not going to be flipping tons of snakes today. But we are going to be finding, hopefully, a couple of rare frogs. So let's get at it. We're on another species of frog for the day. This is a raucous toad. This is about a hundred times or a thousand times bigger than the frog we're trying to find. So, this guy can just carry on his way, sitting here in the wet grass. So, just after... There's a couple of rocks on the roadside here. We're going to do a little flip or two. Oh, there we go. Brother! It is a common slug eater. Not surprising to see these guys out here. This is an absolutely tiny one. So, the next rock over from that slug eater was this gargantuan size spotted grass snake. So have a look at this absolute unit of a spotted grass snake that I just picked up. He was just under that next rock over from the slug eater, but he is an angry boy. Um, 
it's quite cold so I don't see why he's so riled up but you can see just how plain these snakes are compared to the ones that we're used to seeing in the Cape this one basically has no stripes I mean sorry no spots what's at all besides the ones on his neck there he's an absolute unit of a snake I don't want to stress this guy or girl out too much come on brother um because yeah I just wanted to go back under its rock but we'll get a little bit of footage I actually might just corral it back under a rock but an absolute unit of a spotted grass snake this guy must be oh close on 90 centimeters perhaps I just haven't seen one this thick in an absolute long time but yeah just have a look at how striped this animal is unbelievable so I just got the snake in hand once it's calmed down a bit and you can actually just see the absolute girth of this animal. What a stunning specimen. It's getting late in the day. I thought we were wrapping it up when we just got the frogs. But I'm just going to release the spotted grass snake. Obviously I'll put this log back for him. He can go on and do his things. Let's get out of here. So it's just scratching through some of this grassy sort of leaf litter and I just turned up an absolutely stunning plaintive rain frog. Have a look at the stripes on the side of this one. This one is incredible. He's just releasing a bit of this sort of white mucus. It's sort of a, a poison secretion. It's just a defensive mechanism. Obviously while I was digging around there and obviously disturbed him so he gets a little bit grumpy but not to worry we are just going to i should pop on a log for now um we're going to carry on scuffling around here and i'm trying to find our second golf species of today just flipped over this little piece of bark that was laying on the ground and we have another brave sips you can just see just how tiny this one is good day for brave sips now if we could just find our other target for the day I'll be super chuffed. Plains of rain frog. Bravey says very curses. So does it look like I'm in Jurassic Park yet? So I've been just about ready to give up. I've got about a three hour drive home. And as you can see, the conditions are less than ideal to drive. And we just got our second and last target for today. This is the misspell chirping frog. A couple of videos ago, you would have seen that we got the Natal chirping frog. So I'm absolutely, I'm freaking out. I've been wanting to see this species for so long and this is a massive, is this a female? It looks like a female. She's absolutely. So me and my girl stopped at another spot. We are looking for dusky bay water snakes. You can see it's pretty much pristine habitat. Along this little stream, there's loads of this sort of slate. Rock here and we're just gonna be flipping the girl tends to find them in the water, but we're going to give out go at flipping some rocks for them. See how they look at that dusky bear water snake? Oh, not a very long look. Off he goes. Cool, so we just switched to another spot and we're going to give flipping a go at this site. Again, we're just looking for dusky belly water snakes under these tiny little rocks. Um, Miguel often sees them here swimming, but we're going to give it a bash. Whoa, I got one here in a crab hole. Check it out, he's just sitting next to this crab. Tiny one, she got small ears. Awesome. Dusky belly water snake number three for the day. It's getting a bit late in the day, but here is a common river frog. Meets a Zillandia. You can see the webbing in the toe here. Big old frog. Later, brother. Just heading out from the dusky spot and we just road cruise the snake. It is a firm favorite, it's a really little brown water snake. Let's just see if it could be a little look. So you got that little pale pink belly, skinny little head, and as you can see, 
There are lots of cars on this road, so if we'd come a little bit later, I probably would have got smashed. We're just gonna move this guy off the road and let him go. Cool, so that's pretty much gonna be it for today. We've got those duskies, We've got a couple of these yellow stripe reed frogs, and that is gonna be it for KZN.